Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here with the new Toyota BZ4X full electric SUV from Toyota and I'm right here with a new multimedia system. In this video I want to explain you how the multimedia system work and also I want to show you the new digital cockpit from Toyota. Let me talk a little bit about the new cockpit. The cockpit is not something incredible uh, customizable as you can find on Mercedes, but it's simple as you find on Volkswagen ID group. For example, ID4, ID5 uh, have the same, same, uh, same, kind of the same uh, customization, I should say. It's super, super simple. All you can see on the screen there, it's like acceleration, like regenerative uh, brake and also you can see traffic signs, the traffic speed, you can see how much range you have, the temperature, the time and here you can see also the trip, you can change the trip from down here, uh, you can also reset the trip, you can also change the brightness of the screen if you want to and also you can customize from this, from this area here uh, on the steering wheel, you can customize different functions uh, from here. Uh, also, of course, while you're driving, you can see the adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that uh, options while you're setting up. Uh, also, let me show you, for example, if you go back here to the menu, you have the menu with the trip and the consumption. Also, if you go down, you have the adaptive cruise control and all the information about the car. If you go down, you have the media, then you have the trip information, the tire pressure, you have the, all the settings for adaptive cruise control here, lane assist on and off, uh, reading the traffic speed limit, the vehicle settings and the meter settings. Uh, for example, on the vehicle settings, you have also another uh, set of settings right here, like charging settings, uh, speed limit uh, and sensors. Anyway, uh, and then the last one is the error, if you have some error. Now, once you set up, for example, a destination on the um, navigation system, so let me show you that. If you, uh, if you set a destination, Die press go. Jetzt. Okay, and if you set a destination, you can see that even the, um, uh, the cockpit it will show you the route. I think I have to go and drive in order to show me. I'm not sure about that, but usually it will show you the directions right there on the on the screen as well. So it will show you here on the on the left side, but just the direction, not the, not the map. Anyway, uh, that's with the cockpit. It's pretty simple. The visibility from the driver point of view it's relatively fine if you put your steering wheel all the way down, the same as Peugeot car have it, and you have a, a much much easier, nicer. Uh, driving position so all you can see I mean the the best way to see the cockpit is over the steering wheel that's something to keep in mind anyway let me go forward here the multimedia system it's integrated in this nice beautiful glossy screen and what I notice is much more responsive than uh, Toyota have that multimedia system uh, before and it's, it's super reliable I mean I like very much how fast it is and how fast you can charge the destination how fast you can play with them and um, I like it much much more you can see it's just it's just like that it's super fast it's loading in no time also you can end it up from here then you have some kind of a shortcut button here you have the navigation you have the media here you can go in media uh, station list you have the manual tune you have all that media settings in this area then you have the phone here if you have your phone connected right now it's my phone connected you have all the messages the favorite the rich and the contacts uh, then going forward you have also the, the car here the vehicle information trip information uh, you can see here the consumption the history consumption uh, also you have the charging schedule you can charge your schedule uh, you can schedule a charge here, vehicle alert if the car has some alert. The next one it's a uh, connected menu here, you come with all that connectivity. And then you have here all the settings of the car. And here on the settings of the car you have also the possibility to create an account. Uh, then you have the personal information, you have the Bluetooth device what kind of device are connected you can connect it from here general information here accessibility here reduce animation a screen beep date and times keyboard language and date going forward you have the wi-fi so you can connect your car to wi-fi you have the display settings here camera and the display brightness and information 
have the navigation settings if you go here you have all that settings to the navigation so you can play with them through a little bit voice and search uh, vehicle customization you have the lights here you can turn on uh, auto on sensitive light then you have the door control here you have the charging control here you can choose the limit how you like to have the charging on every uh, charging option climatic system utility here adaptive cruise control customization and vehicle suggestion um, and then you have also of course the dealer information info and security and software update so as you can see guys this is a pretty straightforward simple multimedia system uh, that I cannot show you too many things because it doesn't have too many things this is crazy simple the other thing is that the volume is here and you can start it and uh, stop it and close it from here from this button other than that this is it guys if you still have question uh, and I know you have question if you want to connect your Android phone you have to use a cable this is the answer and I have a separate video with that if you want to see it check it out on my channel next days if you have an iPhone you can connect it uh, wireless so it works uh, wireless Wireless. that's uh, all about the multimedia system in this bz4x i hope you uh, you get some useful information from the video uh, if you like to see the full review uh, it will come soon on the channel click the subscribe button uh, to see the notification when the full review and the test drive video will come out on the channel so thank you for watching stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys